Good afternoon, Asperger's Legion. Welcome back to another video with me, Mr. Thomas Henley from the Asperger's Growth Channel. Today, we've got something a little bit different, a little bit fresh. I'm going to be reviewing a new product that is sweeping the nation. Maybe not sweeping the nation, but it is coming to market and it's about sleep. It's about improving the sleep of kids with ADHD, kids with sensory difficulties, kids with autism, people with autism. I'm going to be reviewing Fidget Bum. Now from the packaging, yes, you can see that it is mainly advertised towards children and in particular autistic children, children that suffer with difficulty in sleeping, children that are a bit fidgety, of course. However, although it is marketed towards children, there is a lot of utility in using it for adults as well. And I've tried this out, and I'm going to give you my honest review, my honest opinions, on whether I think it helps me in my sleep. So stay tuned for the video if you want to hear about Fidget Bum. By the way, this is not a sponsored video, I have been sent this package, but I will give you my honest review, as always. It's a little notice there, a little disclaimer. EXPLODE! Hello everybody, welcome back. I know it's only been about five seconds, but um, I feel the need to say that every time I uh, start a new video or do a little section of video, but that's beside the point. Yes, back to the topic, fidget bum. What is it? It is a sleep aid. So basically what it is, is a sock for your bed. And it's made out of cotton and you put it around the underneath of your mattress, zip it up, well, preferably you get in it first, zip it up and it's supposed to provide some sort of sensory feedback, sensory feedback. And that's supposed to help with fidgeting and restlessness. And in my in my time, I've tried a few things to try and help myself really sleep because I really struggle with sleeping. It's one of the things that I've never really got the hang of. I go to sleep or I think I'm going to go to sleep and I'm, I end up staying up for hours because I don't feel tired. Then when I wake up, I feel a bit dizzy and disorientated and it takes me about two or three hours to really get my head straight. So that's not great. And it's one of the things that is very difficult about being autistic because we tend to have a lot of difficulties with sleep. So the way that I was sent this product was through this uh, website. So I I've been asked to go onto Anna Kennedy's web um, radio show. And on there, there was, a, there was a few sort of links to different companies and one of them was Fidget Bomb. So I thought, hey, that's pretty cool. I've been looking for a way to improve my sleep. Although it is does appear to be for children, it could work on me as well. And that was my, my little thought experiment. So I dropped them an email, um, I think a lady called Mel, and we had a little chat about coming onto the podcast and talking about it. And she decided to send me one of these, which I am very happy about. I've had other sleep aids in the past, so I've had one of those blue weighted blankets and yeah they do offer pressure and help calm you down a little bit but it's not really practical for sleeping and it gets very muggy and warm and it's just not nice having a bunch of beads compressing you throughout the night and you can't move you can't move and that's one of the things that i was quite excited to see in a product and you know what I tried it out last night pretty good pretty good it's not a magical miracle worker uh, it does help in a lot of ways though for example it's really 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 stretchy so I've I've tried kicking I've, I've tried with all my might you know with my old uh, taekwondo legs to kick through this piece of material uh, I couldn't. I couldn't make a dent in it. It was just too stretchy. I have 
tried to sort of pull the zip apart. Um, not not too much force, but I've tried to pull the zip apart. It seems just that this product is quite sturdy and useful. And it was a really comfortable sleep. I could lay flat. I could toss and turn if I wanted to. I could raise my knees up just to get a bit more pressure on my body. And honestly, it's a really great idea. Uh, but let's let's have a little look at the the box just to give you an overview of it. So you've got this this um, fidget bum logo, keeping your little one safe and snug in bed, or in this case, a big one. Me. Uh, I got the single bed long one, which is suits me because I've got a single bed and it's longer because my legs don't fit on the normal one. And then when we have a look at the back. It gives us an idea of um, what it does. So it has been recommended by some occupational therapists. I'm not sure about whether it was a study or a, a stats thing, but I'm sure that many occupational therapists would find this good. The material is cotton and it's very breathable, as it says on the box, and it does zip over your top. And it does keep you nice and snug under the covers. However, it was a little bit too warm for for me during the night. I have quite a thick, heavy duvet. And having this under that as well um, stopped me from putting my legs out to cool myself off. But I'm sure if I was to get a, you know, like a thinner duvet, I'm sure I'll be fine. I think it's a great alternative to try to medication. You know, if you're a parent and you're watching this and you're thinking about putting your children on medication to try and get them to sleep, which I know being a parent is hard and sometimes all your efforts just don't seem to work, fair enough. But maybe try one of these out because as an adult, yeah, I know I don't really seem, if, you, if you're coming onto this channel for the first time, I don't really seem autistic. Um to most people who don't know about autism in depth. I have Asperger's syndrome and I do have a lot of sensory needs and sensory difficulties. And sleeping obviously has been a big part of my life, particularly not just sleeping because sleeping is for everybody, but sleeping difficultly has been a part of my life for a long time. And I have been put on medications for it was put on melatonin which did help quite a lot but now I'm on metazapine which is a antidepressant but it also helps with anxiety and sleep so I've been on that for quite a while and you know what it did the metazapine did help and the melatonin did help for a while but only to a certain extent and it still posed the issue with lying in bed for a an extended period of time until you fall asleep. It's just very difficult. Very difficult for someone who has irritability and loads of energy and restlessness. So we've talked a little bit about the the good things, the positive sides of this product. Now let's talk a little bit about the negative sides. And you know, with with a lot of things like this, they can there can be a little bit of difficulty around things that restrict movement uh, so you know any sort of restraints or you know even even like the sides of beds in in homes you know for people who have dementia and stuff there has to be a lot of sort of licensing and there has to be a lot of things that are gone through before these type of things are allowed and I think in general for a home environment these things are great because it's really not that hard to get out of them. It's not like it fully like stops you from getting out. It doesn't restrict your movement in a way that you won't be able to get up and out of bed in the morning. And you have to wait for your parents to come upstairs and zip you out or your partner to zip you out. It's not like that. But yeah, I, I do sort of see some of the, the negatives in that way. As it can be viewed by some people as a little bit restrictive. It could be a problem. But from the emails and messages that I've sent uh, to Mel, one of the fidget bum uh, workers, one of the people who heads it, it seems that they are trying to push for 
a more mainstream use, a more medical use. In terms of the comfort, I'd say that the only real main problem comes in from the zip. So if you wear pyjamas, then you, you're going to be all right. But if you prefer to sleep in your underwear or uh, naked, then um, you may feel a lot of coldness from the zip, as I did. Uh, but that's that's easily solvable. What I did is I just shifted shifted the uh, fidget bum blanket over to the side so the zip was going down the side of the bed. Just slept a little bit closer to the wall. It was fine. It was all good. And to be honest, I think that's the end of the, the negative negatives of this problem. I'm sure that if if I was to create an exhaustive list, I could come up with some more. But there really isn't anything that I can say bad about this. With proper licensing and proper implementation into the medical system, this could be, honestly, in my opinion, a great way of supplementing medication or even even a way of removing medication for sleep. This could be from anything from ADHD to autism to anything that causes irritability or in anything that causes a disturbance in sleep or a lack of ability to sleep and this isn't just me trying to promote the product I actually do think that it works and I have had a very good sleep in this fidget bum blanket it's not a blanket it's a sleep aid so that about does it for the fidget bum review uh, there are a lot of positives to this and a very 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 slim amount of negatives Maybe one of the negatives could be that the price tag is high for some people, which I don't. I don't think it's very high. I think this one uh, goes goes on for about I don't know sixty to seventy pounds, and comparing that to medication and and the fact that it is a long term solution and it's very durable, I I think it's a great idea, and why not give it a go? I would really recommend buying one. Get in contact with them, ask whether your child or yourself will benefit from having one of these. They have them in single beds, they have them in smaller sizes, they have them in double beds. They've got a lot of options for people. Sure, maybe the double bed one's going to be a little bit more expensive, uh, but it is bigger, I suppose. Anyway, make sure to go check out the Fidget Bum website. They've also got an Instagram page, so if you want to drop them a message, ask whether these you know this sleep aid is going to be beneficial for you or your kids just go ask them they're all very friendly and very helpful do you have problems with sleeping have you tried any other sort of medications any weighted blankets any cbd products let me know down in the comments we can have a little discussion about it i know that sleep going to sleep at night is a very difficult thing for people on the spectrum not everybody of course probably doesn't help if you uh down a kind of monster before you go to bed but I'm, I'm not saying that you have i'm just being it's making a story story up it's a bad story again thank you so much to mel from fidget bomb for giving me this opportunity sending me this product and if you want to hear more about it more about what the company stands for it's intense some of the things that they have to offer, some of the advice that they want to give, make sure to go over to the 40 Auti podcast. Go check that out. There's already a few episodes up. A few. <laughs> so go check them out on Spotify. And there's a few other places that you can see them, but you could just go on YouTube. But don't. Go on, go on Spotify. I need more followers. Please. Do you struggle with sleep? Do you find yourself self-medicating yourself to sleep, not knowing what to do about the next day because it, every time the clock turns it's getting closer, closer to the next morning, and you need some sleep and you got to get up for work? Well why don't you try a bed sock, not just any bed sock, a fidget bum bed sock.
I don't know what the word for a for for what a fidget bum is. A sleep aid, a comforter, a object that that it, it's an object that makes makes you tight in bed and it provides a bit of pressure. Thank you so much for watching, my lovely viewers. Yes, I'm talking to you, the one watching me right now. You are awesome, and you deserve to have a good night's sleep. You do. So why don't you try this out, give it a go, or if not, you know, just watch this and consider other options. Consider everything. Don't listen to me. This has been Asperger's Growth. Sleep tight. And thank you for watching.